Welcome back friends and newcomers who have yet to subscribe. Today, we're diving into one of America's oldest and most enduring mysteries, the vanishing of the Roanoke Colony. It's a tale of exploration, struggle, and a haunting disappearance that has left historians, archeologists, and conspiracy theorists puzzled for centuries. How does an entire settlement simply vanish without a trace? Let's travel back to the late 16th century and uncover the strange events surrounding the lost colony of Roanoke. In 1587, John White, an English artist and explorer, set sail for the New World with a group of around 115 settlers. They were part of a bold plan by Sir Walter Raleigh to establish England's first permanent colony in North America. Their destination? Roanoke Island, located off the coast of what is now North Carolina. The New World promised land, resources, and opportunities, but the settlers soon found themselves facing harsh conditions. Roanoke wasn't the first English settlement attempt. Just two years prior, an earlier group had tried and failed to establish a colony on the same island. Still, White and his colonists were determined to succeed where others had faltered. Among the settlers were men, women, and children, including White's own daughter, Eleanor Dare, who was pregnant with what would become the first English child born in America, Virginia Dare. From the beginning, life in the Roanoke colony was far from easy. The settlers faced challenges from every direction. Supplies were low, the relationship with the local Croatoan tribe was tense, and the harsh environment made farming and survival difficult. As the situation worsened, the colonists made a desperate decision John White would return to England to gather more supplies and reinforcements. But White's journey back was met with delays. Upon his return to England, he found the country embroiled in the Anglo-Spanish War, and his attempts to secure a ship to return to Roanoke were postponed repeatedly. What was supposed to be a quick resupply trip turned into a three-year absence. When John White finally returned to Roanoke Island in August 1590, his heart must have been filled with anticipation. It had been three long years since he had last seen his family, including his newborn granddaughter, Virginia Dare, the first English child born in the New World. But as White's ship approached the familiar shores, something was terribly wrong. The colony was eerily silent. Gone were the voices of settlers, the sound of hammers, the hustle and bustle of a growing English outpost. Instead, there was nothing but an oppressive stillness, as if the settlement had been abandoned for years. White and his men docked their ship and hurried toward the village, only to find the fortifications dismantled and the houses either taken apart or in a state of decay. It was as though the settlers had packed up and vanished, leaving no trace of their daily lives behind. Even the personal belongings that settlers would likely have treasured, tools, clothing, and religious items were missing. The sense of dread intensified as White and his men scoured the area, desperately searching for some sign of life. As they combed through the deserted settlement, White made a chilling discovery. The word Croatoan carved into a wooden post with another cryptic marking, Crow, etched into a nearby tree. There were no signs of a struggle, no bodies, and no obvious clues to suggest what had happened. The settlers had simply disappeared, leaving behind only these strange carvings as a final message. What did Croatoan mean? White knew that Croatoan Island was located about 50 miles to the south, home to a tribe of Native Americans who had maintained relatively friendly relations with the English. But before White could investigate further, a violent storm forced his ship to leave the area, and he was never able to return to search for answers. The colonists, over a hundred men, women, and children, were never seen or heard from again. For more than 400 years, the vanishing of the Roanoke colonists has remained one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in American history. Scholars, historians, and even amateur sleuths have offered countless theories, some grounded in historical evidence, others steeped in myth and legend. Let's explore some of the most compelling and unsettling ideas about what might have happened to the lost colony of Roanoke. One of the most widely accepted theories is that the colonists were not abducted or murdered, but instead sought refuge with the nearby Croatoan tribe on what is now known as Hatteras Island. The carving of Croatoan is often interpreted as a clear sign that the settlers had planned to move to the island, either in desperation 
or as part of an earlier agreement with the Croatoans. Evidence supporting this theory includes reports from early explorers who encountered Native Americans with European-style tools and armor, leading some to believe that the Roanoke settlers had integrated with the tribe, adopting their way of life to survive. In fact, in the years following the disappearance, there were several accounts of English-speaking Native Americans with European features. While this theory paints a picture of survival and cooperation, it leaves many questions unanswered. Why did the settlers leave no further explanation? And if they had joined the Croatoans, why did John White never receive word of their whereabouts? Another grim possibility is that the colonists were victims of a violent attack, either by hostile Native American tribes or by Spanish forces who were patrolling the area at the time. The earlier Roanoke colony, established in 1585, had faced tensions with the local tribes and it's possible that these hostilities escalated into open conflict with the new settlers. However, if the colonists were attacked, why were there no signs of violence at the settlement? No bodies, no weapons, no fortifications left in disarray. This has led some to speculate that if the colony was overrun, the bodies were either disposed of elsewhere or the settlers were taken captive. As for the Spanish theory, it's known that Spain, England's primary rival at the time, had a strong presence in the region. Spanish forces had attacked English settlements before, and it's conceivable that they could have destroyed the Roanoke colony. But there are no records of any such attack, and Spanish authorities later denied involvement. Life in the New World was harsh, and the Roanoke settlers faced significant challenges from the moment they arrived. It's possible that after John White left for England, the colony simply could not sustain itself. Crop failures, disease, and a lack of supplies could have forced the settlers to abandon their camp in search of food and shelter elsewhere. Some historians suggest that the settlers may have split into smaller groups, with some moving inland and others heading south to Croatoan Island. This would explain why the village was dismantled. Rather than being destroyed in an attack, it may have been carefully taken apart so that the materials could be reused in a new location. But why would no one have returned to Roanoke to leave further messages? Did they encounter more difficulties in their new location, ultimately succumbing to hunger, disease, or hostile forces? Of course, no great mystery is complete without supernatural explanations. Some believe that the Roanoke colony fell victim to something far beyond the realm of human understanding. According to local legends, the island may have been cursed, or the settlers could have angered the spirits of the land, leading to their mysterious disappearance. Another eerie possibility involves the colonists being taken by something otherworldly, whether it be a curse from the Native American shamans or even alien abduction. The lack of any physical evidence has allowed these paranormal theories to flourish, drawing attention from conspiracy theorists and ghost hunters alike. Could the entire colony have been swallowed by the mysterious forces that lurked in the wild forests of the New World? While these theories are often dismissed as folklore, the complete disappearance of over 100 people has left room for speculation that something truly sinister, beyond the natural world, may have been involved. In recent years, archaeological discoveries at a location known as Site X, about 50 miles inland from Roanoke Island, have reignited interest in the mystery. Site X has yielded European artifacts, including pottery, tools, and weaponry, dating back to the late 1500s. Some believe that the colonists, facing starvation or hostility, may have migrated inland and attempted to build a new settlement. This theory suggests that the colony may have split up into smaller groups, some heading inland while others moved to Croatoan Island. While the findings at Site X offer intriguing evidence, they are far from conclusive. The ultimate fate of the settlers, whether they thrived, perished, or were assimilated into local tribes, remains unknown. Despite centuries of investigation, no definitive answer has ever been found. Archaeologists have uncovered artifacts that may be linked to the lost colony, but none of these discoveries have provided concrete proof of what happened. In recent years, excavations on Hatteras Island have yielded items such as tools and European pottery, suggesting that at least some of the settlers may have joined the Croatoan people. 
In 2015, researchers using modern technology analyzed soil from the Site X area on the mainland, finding evidence of European presence. However, these findings remain inconclusive, leaving the ultimate fate of Roanoke settlers a mystery. The mystery of Roanoke has become a permanent part of American folklore and history, inspiring everything from books to TV shows. But beyond the theories and tales lies the real human tragedy of over a hundred men, women, and children who set out to forge a new life and were never heard from again. As we look back on the eerie disappearance of the lost colony, we are reminded of the fragile nature of survival in a world filled with unknown dangers. Whether they were taken by conflict, disease, or something far stranger, their story continues to captivate and terrify us to this day. And so, the mystery of Roanoke remains unsolved. What really happened to the lost colony? The answer may never be known. If you enjoyed this video and want to explore more unsettling tales from history, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest episodes. Do you have any theories about what happened to Roanoke settlers? Let us know in the comments below. Stay safe, and until next time, my friends.